Hi, welcome. Today we have with us one of the newest additions to the Department of Computer Science at IIT Delhi, Vaishnavi Sundararajan. Vaishnavi, welcome to IIT Delhi. Welcome to CS. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you get your PhD? Where are you coming from? Hi, Amitabh. Uh, thank you. It's nice to be here. Uh, I got my PhD from Chennai Mathematical Institute, um, and I worked in theoretical computer science. Uh, after that, I did a postdoc in France at CNRS. Um, at which point I thought it would be nice to experiment with industry for a bit. So I spent a few months at Ericsson Research um, in their research lab in Bangalore. And then I figured that academia was really where my heart was. So I went back and got a, another postdoc at uh, UC Santa Cruz in California. And now I'm here. Wow, welcome. That's quite a journey. Uh, uh, and you've seen many different uh, parts of the ecosystem. Tell us a little bit about <laughs> yes. your research. Tell, tell us um, what you so do. my research is broadly in the field of theoretical computer science. Um, more particularly, what I work on is uh, formal methods and verification. Uh, so far, I've mostly done some work that focuses on uh, verifying security protocols. But I've recently also branched out into doing some secure by construction work for machine learning. So basically, these are two aspects of the same coin in some sense. So formal verification tries to say, give me a system. I will use some mathematical tools to model it and tell you whether it satisfies the properties that you think it should. So for example, when you use a 5G protocol to connect your mobile phone to a cell tower, what you want to be assured of is that um, you know, nobody else is masquerading as you, which means that right. your 5G allowance at Airtel is not being eaten up by some other number. For example, sure. you also want to be assured that whatever you are sending to the cell tower is not being snooped on by somebody else. So when I send my credentials, they are not being picked up by someone else and various things like that. So certain aspects of security, privacy, they all come into play. And we know that nowadays with the Internet of Things being as big as it is, these are even more important than they used to be. So Absolutely. basically what we do is to say, OK, think about this in, a, in an abstract manner. Think about this as a mathematical system where I can model all these communications in some form of logic or calculus or some mathematical device. And then I can state these ideas that you want of your system, you know, your security, your privacy, all of those also in the same mathematical terms. And then I can check if this mathematical system satisfies those mathematical properties. That's and a, if it does, very, life is great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's great. It's very important. As you mentioned, the infrastructure has become so complex. There are a lot yeah. of holes, a lot of things that we need to check. So but tell me right. something that if a student wants to come and work with you, what mm -hmm. kind of background are you looking for? What kind of training should this person have? Right. So um, actually, it's it's kind of weird because they don't really need much training. It would be nice if they knew some basic automata theory so they had some exposure right. to logic and right. mathematical proofs, but that's about it. Right. I see. OK, wow. That's and this cool. work so kind of sits in the intersection between theory and programming because there's an aspect to verification that is becoming increasingly common, which is automated verification. Right. So we right. always need to write new tools, new programs that can do this for us because we don't want to sit and do this with pen and paper. That's right. Yeah, so, the code bases, the code bases of all these systems are so large. So you want to do it in right. an automated fashion. So yeah, that's that's very interesting. So someone who has a flair for programming, likes a little bit of logic and maths, etc., mm -hmm. would find this work quite interesting. Great, yeah. great. So the, there, we've helped you pitch your research to the students as well. Now, yes. finally, tell me, um, what are you looking forward to doing at IIT why Delhi? Why did you choose to come here? Uh, well, why Delhi? Because I'm from Delhi. So I was born and I grew up here. I spent the first 20 odd years of my life here. So wow. uh, that's why Delhi. Um, and I think IIT was a great fit because the department has many people who work in related areas. So that was great. Right. And of course, we know that the caliber of the students who come here is really high. So that's really helpful when you have projects like I do, right? Because you right. always need people to work on them with you. And then, um, you know, things like programming and theory, they have to go hand in hand. So we know that the kids who come here love programming. So, you know, if anybody is into that, we can use their help with the programming aspect while we do the theory. Or if somebody is really into the theory part of it, that's great too. So right. it's, a, it's a nice marriage of, you know, um, having the access to the right kind of people who might be interested in these sort of things. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us, Vaishnavi. We are also uh, very, part, very excited uh, to have you here. And uh, we wish you a great innings here at IIT Delhi. Thank you. Thank you.